Good, Ashley. Good night. Leah and Sintez, Jill Track Center. Regine and Rashad, Greece. Jada and Zaire, Kayla. Shania, Shashaya, Andrew, Tora. Is everybody? Andrew, Tora. Oh, yeah. Everybody clear on who you're tracking? Cool. So you're going to track the number of times they spoke, the number of sources they cited, and give them positive feedback. A must. And if you have some adjusting feedback, you can give them those. The people on the inside are going to be speaking through these three questions. So you can kind of choose which one to start with and jump in between them since they're all kind of related, like the impact of black nationalism. And you must say at least one of the sources, but you don't need to cite all of them. Sound good? All right. I'm going to have six minutes to start. Who wants to be the first one to jump in? Zemir. So Zemir, you'll start off by reading the questions, and then I'll hit the timer. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is kind of set a purpose for the discussion. What parts of black nationalism, if any, speak to you and why? In what ways have your community been shaped by minority beliefs in your school? What is potentially empowering about black nationalism and what is potentially dangerous and divisive? Uh, the part of black nationalism uh, that, that uh, spoke to me in, uh, in um, which was part of the accident? Mark, no, it did by No, I was in the by Adam. But uh, that, uh, his father and Marcus Garvey believed that freedom, independence, and self-respect can never be a leader of America. And um, I, I believe that this still applies today because all the discrimination we face and the hatred that is still is among some people who are on the human way. Um, the Empire just speaks to me because, you know, black nationalism should be a real thing. People should be different. And it's more among black people. Similarities in that aspect because white nationalism and white supremacy 
and we're constantly getting on going about black rights here and black and black this and black national and this and that's why, why I think it becomes a black. Um, I agree with Caprice and Zamir. Going back to what Caprice said about moving back to Africa, um, going back to the um, document A, it states freedom, independence, and self-respect. We have to have that. So you saying, I agree when you said moving back to Africa is not, you know, we shouldn't have to do that right. We should have respect for ourselves and do what's right for us to not have to go back there, for them to, for us to prove that we shouldn't have to go back there. I agree with you, Zamir, because, you know, black power, black nationalism, it all intertwines with each other and it has to put a point to what we want to say and what we have the right to say. the lower type of critical racial dignity. I feel like it's saying like <coughs> even though it's trying to be beneficial, it's also attracting like bad like ideas and causing destructiveness to the place like that. But and but Gary is saying like in Document D, he's saying like he feels like his Negro enemies are finding ways to destroy him by connecting to um like the political people. Like the government by trying to misrepresent him. Like he says, my Negro enemies finding that they alone could not destroy me, resorted to misrepresenting me to the leaders of the white race, several of whom, without proper investigation, also oppose me. And he feels like they're like trying to make him, like make him seem worse than actually what he's trying to do. Instead of like uplifting the black community, they feel like they're trying to tear it down and they're going back to the white people and making it seem like something that it's not. That's like, well, he does that in, in uh, his uh, autobiography or document C. He says that we believe in a purity of both races, the belief the belief that black and white should uh, get together and dest would destroy the racial purity of both. That's like, he's basically saying that he's not even after that right. each race is a toxin, toxin to one another, but like, that, like, I disagree with that because you're like, Again, you have to fight back to get what you want all the time, most times. And like, you'll never get what you want out of life if you don't like, just fight for it, basically, yeah. Well, Y'all yeah. <laughs> literally said everything I was literally about to say. So, thank you very much. Can I Eventually, you're going to need money 
and like resources from somewhere and if all the white people hold the resources yeah. right if all the hot white people hold the resources where are you gonna get it from if you try to separate from the white people i would like to point something out um how our community our school specifically has uh shaped our garden okay uh, our school goes out their way to make us more uh, culturally aware of our past our ancestors our origins who we born to america around the world specifically specifically talking about this class and you know next year we'll take Sure that we have the knowledge, that we have knowledge base about this. And I want our pastor. And we have teachers that care about this stuff. Exactly. Like it's not just some random like white lady saying like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> saying like yeah, uh, black this, black that. Like mm. this man uh, and uh, Mr. Leon. Yeah. Leon actually cares. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm so. Stop on that note, guys. <laughs> um, good timing. We're gonna whip around the room for feedback. Positive is a must. Adjusting if you haven't. Ashley and Tariqua, feedback on that. evidence and stuff and <laughs> you know, 